what can I say? Welcome to my garden. No, this is not a joke. You're used to seeing my garden looking like this, or like this, or this, but this is what it looks like now. So today I'm going to explain to you what happened, uh, why it all happened, and most importantly what it means for, well, not only the next few weeks and months, but the next few years. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back. Let's have a proper catch up and a bit of a chat about my garden, which I'm sure you'll agree isn't exactly looking as beautiful as it normally would. I'm really aware that I've been absent from YouTube for, what is it now, five, six weeks? So that's quite a long time. So I wanted to update you on why that is and what's happening. And more importantly, why all of this has happened because it is pretty stark there's no denying it it is not pretty if you've been a long time subscriber you'll know that along the back of the house here what we had was a big long lawn which is now well which is now completely churned up and trodden over and driven over by jcb's and it looks like a really mucky part of the field. And here, where I am sitting now, was actually really big kind of shrubs and some hedge and stuff like that. Well, it's all gone. And the reason it's gone isn't entirely bad. It's just over here. It's because of this. We're renovating the house. Now, as a rule, I generally don't show my house on the channel mainly just for privacy reasons, but I do want to show you this now, really just to give you a bit of context and so you understand what's happening. When we got this house, we fell for it, but we particularly fell for the garden and where it is. The house, as nice as it was, was old and was going to need some work, which we had hoped that we would get done a few years ago. Well, that didn't happen until now, and it is finally happening. But what that meant was it, the workmen needed access and also we needed the space for this to be built. So all of this area that was originally hugely built up has been completely cleared. You can see it gives us lots more room, which is brilliant. This is going to be fantastic. But it has meant that the back of the garden has effectively been completely trashed. That is certainly not what I would have wanted. <laughs> but at the same time, another thing about our garden is that access is actually really difficult. You can get in from the front, but after that, although it's a big garden, space is really constrained. So I just had to accept that the machinery was going to have to come in and all of this was going to have to get cleared out. It's not pretty. And truthfully, the last few weeks for me have been a bit stressful and a bit scary because... You know how much I love this garden and seeing stuff having to be ripped out, even though it was stuff that I originally did want to get rid of, that has been tough. But change needs to happen. But in case you think this is enough damage, wait till I show you the front garden. Hello from a very different side of the house. If you've seen my garden tours before, you'll quite often see me either walking up this way or walking down and round into the back garden, down past a little low hedge, nice grass, all lovely. Well, again, like the back, a bit different. This is the way that we've needed to get the heavy machinery in around the back to access the garden. And it's done this. Our lawn has been trashed. It is now compacted and messy and uneven and damaged. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this section. But in case you think that's enough, 
Wait till I flip the camera around and I'm going to show you the front garden. Ta-da! Yep, the destruction doesn't end there. It continues across most of the front garden. Again, because all of the heavy machinery needed to get around to the back of the house, they've had to come into the driveway and through. So really, all of this work has resulted in three things. For starters, is the most obvious, the damage to the front garden. It's huge. It's completely unavoidable, but it is huge. And what it's left us with is a lot of damage to the grass, compacted uneven earth, and now pooling water. So that's going to be a big project. As well as that, you might know that down the side of the driveway, there were kind of like low cypress hedges that made the front garden more private. Well, they all had to come out. And then the final thing is that just because this has effectively become a working area at the moment, and because I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to do any kind of, well, real garden maintenance. So the weeds are starting to grow. They're starting to run rampant. And the whole place is, well, it's looking pretty sorry for itself. But you're not going to believe this because I keep saying, wait till you see this because there's even more. On the other side of the driveway where the secret garden is, I'm going to have to show you that as well. I was never able to walk this way before (laughs) because there was a hedge and most importantly, there was a hedge all the way along here. Believe it or not, where we're standing is in front of what was called the secret garden. And I'm not sure that I can call it the secret garden anymore. (laughs) That hedge had to come out. It was really badly diseased. And actually a lot of it was starting to die off. And because of that, it was full of just dry, dusty yuckiness that really we were starting to become concerned was going to be a fire risk. Uh, So all of it came out as well. Plus we also needed more access. And as awful as it looks at the moment, because you can see how a lot of the plants have been used to only growing effectively on one side because of how they were constrained by the hedge. And because we now have a big area that's not planted, it looks very sorry for itself. But actually, to look on the positive, it brings in more light, it brings in more air, and ultimately, it's going to create a really nice space that I can develop further and turn it into something really special. I'm already getting my thinking cap on about that, about what I can do. So let's go back to the back garden because I want to talk about what all of this means and what I'm going to do about it. So, I don't know, the more practical-minded of you might be looking going, that's not a big deal. This is what needs to happen and it's going to come good in the end. At the same time, some of you may be looking absolutely aghast and horrified at this, going, what has happened? How could this have happened? Well, In a way, at the moment, I'm somewhere in between the two. The biggest thing, though, is that a lot of the stuff, particularly here at the back for me, was just becoming unmanageable. It was nice stuff, but it was over mature. It was too big. It was not going to look right when it was cut back. And actually, it didn't work with what we needed. And you know me, I always have a plan. And that's where I'm going to start today to share with you the plan. It may change, but here's what I'm thinking. This area that's behind us that was the lawn, if I can, I'm going to try and get that back to grass because really this garden is so big that what you need are large areas of manageable space because I don't have time to really do a lot of finickety work across the whole space. Get that back to grass. What I have then is this really nice bank. So where we're sitting at the moment, the bank is probably only about two foot high, but as it goes down towards the end of the house, it ends up being about three to four foot high. And then that wraps around the side of the house. And that's what I'm planning to really change and make over. I'm gonna plant this up with lovely, huge, big, tall grasses and perennials so that the house ends up wrapped in a really naturalistic planting that then you're gonna look through the windows, almost through the grasses and out into the garden beyond. I can't wait to get started. The building works here are gonna take another couple of months, but what that means is if it's timed right, it could just work out nicely because that'll leave us in the autumn and autumn is a good time to get stuff planted. And if I can get stuff planted, 
then we're going. In the front garden, I'm going to try and basically get it back to what it was, because although it was very simple, I really liked just how simple and low maintenance it was, though possibly with a few changes. I'm thinking about taking that perennial planting and wrapping it around the front of the house as well, if I can A, afford it, and B, if I have the energy. And then the secret garden. Well, the secret garden, now that it's opened up and now that I actually have more space to plant, I'm going to start to make it almost like a really nice little, you know, like a jewel box of interesting things, specimen plants. And rather than having one big sort of cohesive planting like I'm going to have here, it's going to be a garden full of little bits, nice things to look at, nice things to smell or just sit next to and enjoy. I think that's going to come together really nicely. So in amongst the destruction, in amongst the compacted, soggy ground, the bits, the remains of dead plants, (laughs) the mess and the construction, I can see hope and I can see what this is going to become. You know me, I've always got a plan. I'm always going to turn the garden into something great (laughs) and ultimately something that I really want it to be. It does mean, however, that I am just so busy at the moment that I'm not sure I can commit to getting out episodes as often as possible. Trust me, I am going to get back to a regular upload schedule. But please understand, if you've done building works before yourself, you will understand that it is a lot of work and it's really tiring. And at the moment, that means I'm not always in a position to try and make the kind of nice polished videos that I would for you. But what I will commit to doing is over the summer updating you with how this all gets on because I think you'll find it you'll find it interesting. I always say I like sharing my garden with you. I'm really sharing my garden with you this time. So, as ever, until next time, see you later. <laughs>